And we're in this really cool shop. It's all about quilting, but it's also about crafts and vintage cool stuff like all this that's surrounding us. That's right. It's the merge of quilt and craft, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at some of this cool stuff we found here at Brooklyn Mercantile. This is like great for a project bag. It's a great project Isn't bag. Isn't that neat? Mm -hmm. The owner travels all over the world and finds cool stuff like this little, this is like a ring box and it's from Burma. She found it in Burma and actually brought it back. Isn't that neat? Now, you know what's really neat about this is that right now the trend, the trend in home deck and the trend in even fabric is uh, is ethnic yeah. so you know this kind of fits right into that whole trend mm -hmm. now she does mail order so you can buy this kind of stuff you know what I don't you know what bothers me Jody you know as a man who is a crafter and who is a sewer I never find anything that's not so gay looking do you know what I mean oh, it's hard yeah. for me to carry my my projects and they always look so yeah like this one because it's all yeah, they, they kind of look fruity, yeah. and I'm always. I, I think we. I need to develop, or the guys in this business, and there are a lot of men in this business. We More need to all the time. right. We need to develop something for us to get our, you know, to be able to get our creative mojo on that we're not always having to like go into the women's stuff. Now you know that happened when Evan was a baby. When I adopted my son, you could only buy pink and blues and greens, kind oh. of uh, diaper bags, and then right after that, I guess in like ninety. 394, they started making manufacturers started doing diaper bags that were like blacks and browns and leather cool. so that guys could actually take their kids out and not look like a goof. Yeah.